Remain in jail. Three others are out on bond. This after PBSO and several other agencies raided three farms for operating as alleged slaughterhouses. We first showed you these exclusive Chopper 5 pictures that you'll see in just a moment. Yesterday at 5 o'clock, hundreds of animals were seized as part of the investigation. Many of them are now getting some help from a Miami based animal rights group. Contact 5 investigator Jared Worksma has more on the previous inspections at those farms. But first, Katie Johnson with a visit to that so-called sanctuary today. She's live with what's next for the animals. Katie. Well, right behind me is Rancho Garcia. It's one of the three farms involved in yesterday's raids. Hundreds of animals were removed, everything from cows to rabbits. Some of those animals taken to Palm Beach County Animal Care and Control, but the rest were taken to a place called the Sanctuary. A young goat being nursed back to health by an animal recovery mission worker. At an undisclosed location, hundreds of animals are being taken care of by armed workers. The group rescued from the Loxahatchee farms they once lived on. An animal is the most innocent. There's nothing more innocent than an animal. They're not fought for enough by enough people. Richard Kudo is the founder of ARM. He started back in 2010 out of Miami and since then has launched investigations across the country and the world. No one else in the world will go as deep as ARM in these operations in such dangerous operations. ARM investigators took undercover videos at three Loxahatchee farms, Rancho Garcia, GA Pasifino, and Medina Farm. The animals seized, but not all of them will survive. Some of them are great, some of them are very poor. Um, we've already lost um, three birds that died last night. Uh, I'm sure we're going to lose more, as we always do after these strikes. Now, those who did survive are getting a second chance at a life that's less violent. Life here on the sanctuary is much different than the farms these animals came from, and the folks with arms say they're not going anywhere. They're staying put. They won't be up for adoption. They'll stay here, getting the veterinary care they need away from the alleged slaughter. Now, the group arm is in need of donations to help support these animals. And coming up in our next hour, we'll show you where the rest of the animals were taken and what's next for them. We're live in Loxahatchee, Katie Johnson, WPTV News Channel 5.